A warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Bremen against Napoli. And Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Hi everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. And we're underway. Team's combined record here played six, won none. Played out to the right. Yudnusovic hits one. He's missed, but not by that far. Terry out towards the flank. Hit long and direct. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Now the pass, has a hit! Good stop, that wasn't easy. He's had a shot! And it's a goal! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Bremen ahead, one goal to the good. Oh, great ball! They've done it! A pretty simple finish in the end, what do you think, Jim? And that's what the game is all about, find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. Gets it into the middle, sticks it away! Oh, I think it's been called offside. Yes, it has. Yeah, the referee hadn't spotted his assistant's raised flag. He has now, so he's ruled the goal out for offside. Looks to thread it through. And the header! Well, to get his head on that, but... And it's Yunuzovic. Tries a through ball, and he's on his way! Yunuzovic has been caught there, it's a foul. The rest has been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Going for goal! Good try, the outcome could so easily have been different. it out to the wing. See views on the first half. That was a fantastic 45 minutes of football. I'm really hopeful of more of the same in this second half. That's a really interesting game and they head in at half time at 1-1. It's a long forward pass. She makes the route one option. Brings it forward. Chance! Gets up to head it! It's in! And they it's a converted defensive situation into a goal, and it's very impressive. Bremen take the lead. Good idea, just poorly executed. Yudnusovic, he's away! Goal! And with that goal comes comfort! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Time added on will be two minutes. Chip through, goes for the cross. Fair effort, he reacted well. 
Oh, they really wanted that. There's so many players in the box. Everyone's committed to attack now. Yunuzovic has made his mark on this game. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, that is not the outcome they were after. A truly disappointing defeat. Your final thoughts, Jim? Look, they've been found wanting, in my opinion, in a, a few areas that would have made a difference to the result. So they need to go away and just have a good think about it. And I'm sure they can come back stronger. I think we're just about out of time. So many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Napoli are struggling, no one needs to be told that, but what would you say is the biggest reason behind their current problems, Jim? Napoli are yet to win this season. What's the cause, or even the causes for that? Napoli are still winless this season, and it's something that a fair number of critics have had a crack at, but, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, if the manager persists with a structure that isn't quite working, then he's going to be under more scrutiny than his players. I think he's got to eat humble pie here and admit a mistake, and change it for everyone's sake. Out of play for a goal kick. Boots it upfield. Tries a through ball, with a delicate ball, header! Oh, the keeper's done. <laughs> Towering header! They've scored! The breakthrough strike! However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Napoli take the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Looks to thread it through. He'll have a dip! Oh, taken with style! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. It's come loose. Turns and goes back. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? It's bounced out. Oh, he needs to get it forward quickly. Has a hit. Sticks it away. And the cover. Played in with accuracy. And we hit half-time. The midway point of the game. Well, give me a moment to get my breath back. Uh, what a super half of football. Incident pack, goals, comebacks, and the match being turned on its head. Which way it's going to go from here, it's anyone's guess. Napoli don't need to press the panic button just yet. Still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. Battles to win it back. Dinks one in. Looks like a good ball through. Lofted into the middle. Firmly met. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. And he's cut it out. Up to head it! It's a goal! A 
two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Oh, checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Promising cross. Decent clearance now, can anyone get on the end of it? Right place, right time. Um, it was just as well that a the referee's awarded a free kick. Sidwell. Demba Bar. Looks to dink one in. How about it? And somehow he managed. Tries a long pass towards the front. Suchi. And time is up. Napoli are beaten. It is not the result they needed. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, they didn't quite gel as a team. They looked a little disjointed throughout, but something that can be corrected before the next game quite easily. So, just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.